Welcome back to Pathologic 2. In the last episode, we finally got some sleep at Sava's place and ended day two. Now it's 7.41 a.m. on day three. We don't have much marked on the map to do in particular, just speak with Taya, which I probably can't do because I, I assume it's still locked, or speak with Laura Ravel. So I guess, I guess I should maybe take a boat to Lara's place. Then again, I am pretty close to Taya's place. Maybe I should just try to go in there. Um, oh no, no, it actually specifically says in this description, closed. Okay, then maybe I should go back to Vlad and ask them. Anyway, before anything else, I think I want to go to the cemetery. Because remember Grace told me to come back later? The, I wanted them to speak to my father for me. <clears throat> But they were too weak at the time to do it, and they said come back in the evening. Well, it's not quite the evening anymore, it's a bit past that. <laughs> but I still want to go talk with them. And they're super close anyway, so let's go. Alright, I'm super hungry. I don't think I have any food on me. I was just curious for a second if you could eat these organs. <laughs> I'm glad you can't, and I wouldn't even if I could. Not really what this game is about, you know? Are your herbs? Sorry, I was just distracted by Gibby being... On my desk, Gibby's one of my cats, a little tort. And she's beautiful, and I'm petting her right now, which is why I've switched to baby voice, because I can't pet cats without being in baby voice. I love you, honey, but please get off of my keyboard and everything. Oh, she's on my lap now. I got her off of me. I would have filmed it, but my phone is somewhere else charging. I think it's actually worth my time just to go around the graveyard just looking for herbs let me speak with grace though just in case there's some sort of a time limit thing where like if i talk to her before eight it's still considered the evening or something still down in the creepy basement you just been down here all night oh i can't even talk with him okay Cause I'm wondering if something's gonna change at 8 a.m. Cause I think the day sort of officially starts at 7:30, kinda. I don't know. There's midnight and then 7:30 seem to be two key times. When uh, hey, messenger. The boss has an urgent matter to discuss with you, Master Barack. It concerns your family home. Oh, I know what that's about. Don't know why they're the one wanting to talk to me about it, but uh, yeah, there's an infection spreading from there. Oh, so this option, this seems important, let's go there right now. I think that's the one that sort of teleports me. I wonder if time passes when you do that. It must, it must deduct a reasonable amount of time, right? Yeah, I don't want to go there just yet. Um, it's always urgent with everyone. Tell them I'll drop by later today. And to this, the Bose told me to reply. This matter has to be resolved before sundown, otherwise you'll lose both the house and a large sum of money. Before sundown? That's plenty of time. Got it. Thanks. Thanks, kid. Bose wants to talk about my inheritance, my home. <laughs> of course, Bose being the hardcore capitalist. They're talking about a different inheritance than the one that I'm coming into from my father. Okay. Herbs. Wait, do I want to drink that? If I do, I won't be able to store the bottle. I should not walk on people's grave. Rude.
That was an interesting noise. Was that, uh, Swevery? It stacked with something I already had. Whoa. Listen to that. Oh, that one I had to drop. I think that one's pretty rare. Um, what do I want to drop to take it? It's gonna take two slots. I just need to drop a one, just one slot worth of stuff broken ampules but then what about the dead item store oh i slept through the dead item store opening time didn't i i'll have to wait until the next day to check out what they're all about i'm really curious what they offer what their prices are you know how much is a broken ampule worth i'm debating whether i should drop them because i don't know how much they're worth i'm just gonna drop them that's not how you drop stuff there we go Um, that, and that, there we go. I think that's enough herb gathering. I'm about to free up a lot of inventory space because we are quite close to home. Oh. I should specify when I say home, I mean the hideout, the closest thing to my my home, really? I'm gonna stop by there and just drop off a bunch of stuff, because I don't need to keep all these herbs with me, I think. In fact, I might even do some brewing. I really should. I really should get some food. Let's see if I can trade with some people. Bandage for water. Heck yeah. Metal scrap for two chisels? I mean, I guess I don't need that many chisels, right? Sure. Wait, do I already have one in my inventory? I don't. I'm not going to have room for this. Um... What the heck? Let's improve my reputation here. I'll give them all the chisels. There you go, buddy. Oh, I can talk with you. How fares your kind, Gadonga? Do you know what an Uderg is? What does the Conjure Sigil stand for? But just a reminder if you've forgotten. Um, the Uderg is what the, uh, the kids said the eighth is. The eighth mysterious kid on the list that I can't find. A body that contains a world. Everyone knows that. But what does that mean? Bekara. It can be a creature made of many creatures, like a family, a Toglor, a group of people bound by the same fate. A creature made of many creatures, like a Family. I still have no idea. Uh, you haven't? Uh, no, I see. Our words are a race, Katonger. We turn our father's flutes into sticks. We take old words, big words, and apply them to small things. But the connection to the source is still there. The lines remember. Yes. Connections are like veins. You can't just tear them out. What did that just do? Apart from the seven kids, there was an eighth on the list. Uderg. In Uderg, perhaps? I don't know why it says an Uderg, perhaps. I mean, when they're called Uderg, it's kind of like, yeah? Um, I suspect I'll one day have to find out. Uderg means the body that contains a world. 
refers to something that consists of many living parts. Hmm, you can trade a lot of things with them. Candle stubs worth quite a bit. I don't have any use for any of these things really though. Hmm. Yeah. Could take that apple piece. Doesn't restore much. <clears throat> I mean, I need it. Peanuts and broken scissors. That seemed reasonable. This will give me a tiny, tiny bit of breathing room. Package. I want that. Mm, well, I can't sell the thread. Definitely not selling a needle for one each. No, thanks. Nah, I want that morphine, but it's expensive and I don't have anything good to trade for it. Ladders in this game do not work. Oh, the herb's on the other side. Oh damn, I don't want to get stuck back here. Anyway, am I going the right way? Yeah. Is it just me or does the outline of this place look kind of like a creature? It looks kind of like, um, you know that, like, Trojan horse? It looks kind of like that big Trojan horse where it's got the four wheels and then the body and then there's the big head. <laughs> ah, right. Hey, partner. You all right? What's that noise? Is it coming from them or from this thing? No, it's coming from them. There's a power to partner. Oh shit, I meant to say howdy partner. But I forgot to, I think. Oh, are you the one that said you would find me? Is that you? Yeah, I'm sorry about your loss. Still, think bright thoughts. Earth takes her due, but gives in kind. Have you now remembered me? Do you remember our connection? If I said yes, would that be lying? Because I don't know. I mean, could they be the eighth? Let's go with this one. Your dress is even more torn than before. You danced with all your energy, huh? I needed to make Earth split open to lay her father to rest. Well, thank you for doing that. Bayarla. Let Mother Bodo caress your step. I'm all yours, Kierkin. Mm hmm. All yours. I don't want someone to be mine. What is your name? So you don't remember at all? No, I honestly don't. This is what you told me once. I often dream of salt, either its taste or color or whole salt pits or holding some in my pinched fingers. Do you believe me now? I never told anyone about it, even my friends, even Lara doesn't know. Barkane, Barkane, forget Lara, that's not why I'm following you. Why then? But you're not heartless, however cruel. I won't leave you. I hold no grudge against you. Just mind this. When you finally remember, when you realize why you need me, do not hold a grudge either. Promise? I'm 
not the type to hold grudges. Don't send me away. We are bound, you and I. I am yours. Remember that, at least. All right, I'll remember. I wonder when or if I will actually remember. Okay. Man, I really do feel like this poster is important for something. But I don't think I've hit what it's important for just yet. Some sort of brewing, probably. Maybe involving the organs. Hmm. I'm just thinking what I should do as far as brewing goes. Do I need tinctures? I need storage space so I can hold the freaking tinctures. <laughs> I mean, I do need tinctures. I only have two out of the three. Oh, hey, have you found a toolkit by any chance? I can't talk with you. I guess that means no. Snip. What were you about to say? And snails and puppy dog tails. Hmm. So if I wanted to repair my shoes, they're not very hurt at all. That's not very hurt. The cloth mask is worth repairing. I would take a red thread and a safety pin. It's not too bad, really. The safety, I mean, the the red thread wasn't that expensive to get. Does this need to be repaired? It's got almost max durability. It doesn't. But, I mean, if I need to do surgery, it is pretty important that it's as sharp as possible. Let's do it. Okay. Dude, did I store any tinctures in there? I did not. I know that time passes while I'm doing this. I don't think there's any fast way to put it in here, unfortunately. I think I have to individually stack it. Man, look at how much blood twire I have, my god. Ew! Squishy noises, bad. Well, I want one of each tincture on me, I suppose. So let's make Zerk, that's the one I'm missing. That's black and brown twire. Let's go ahead and make two, I suppose. Let's carry two of everything. Seems like a good rule of thumb. Oh, right, this this Yoss tincture is the plus version of it, which means it won't stack with the normal version, probably. No, there's no way it would. How would it? Hmm. I'll put all my liquids down here, maybe. Yeah, it seems all right. Just, I gotta remember when I go to drink water. Um, make sure to reach for that one and not the blood or the other tinctures. <laughs> they did a good job differentiating the water bottle by the icon. Like, look what they did. All these kind of medical related things that you can't actually drink yourself. They all lean to the left, but the water leans to the right. That's pretty clever. Should I experiment a bit? Like, I don't think I can do any brewing with organs, probably. I probably need a more advanced machine for that. But I mean, I might as well try. Let's let's try. See if I can put some organs in there. Maybe I, I can put some ashen swish or swevery in with my normal brewings. Can I put organs? No. Um, yeah, I need the more advanced machine for that. Let's try brown and is that swivery? Yeah, what does that do? Metro Tincture Plus. Ooh! Brown and swivery equals Metro Tincture Plus. I'm gonna write that down. Okay, put it in my recipes and kind of made them all more concise. I figure when I find what the recipe is for the upgraded version of a thing, I'll just put it next to the original thing. So this is just for Medril, and then 
Metrol Tincture Plus right below it. Let's experiment some more. I want to make something with this. Black, black and ashen. Black and ashen makes Zerk Plus. There, how's that for organization? So I still need Yas Tincture Plus. Hmm. Remember, time passes when I'm in this window, I'm pretty sure. Well, uh, hold on, hold on. What's the first color of the normal Medrill tincture? It's black, brown. Hmm, I was thinking one of the two um, twires that's used for the original version would be used in the upgraded version, but it's not. Like for the normal Medrill tincture, it's black and blood twire. And then for the upgraded one, it's brown twire. It uses the third twire. And then swevery. Okay, so I just gotta make a combination that I have not used before. So I need one of the... I'm sure I need one of the special things. Swevery or ashen... I forgot the last part of it. Ashen or swevery. Plus... Let's try swevery plus everything that's not brown. Swevery plus anything that's not brown. That's black. Swevery. Oh, fuck. I need water. Swevery in black. Swevery in black. <sighs> oh, I was wondering if brewing potions uses up the original bottle. It does. Right. That's I'm putting it in a bottle. It's using the original bottle, of course. Okay. Well, that's the end of my brewing for now, then. <laughs> All right. Let's put stuff away as quick as possible as time is passing. In this menu, at least, time doesn't pass. Well, I guess I want to keep the upgraded version of each tincture on me and only use the lower versions if I need to. So I'll keep like one of the upgraded of that, one of the upgraded of that, one of the upgraded of that, and put these normal back into place, I suppose. I don't know in what way these are more effective. Particularly potent at what? At boosting immunity, maybe? Or does it even reveal symptoms better? Can can you reveal <laughs> symptoms better? <clears throat> um, I'm gonna put my red thread in here. All you need to learn is the right herbal mixture. Jesus, you scared me, kid. I'm gonna put the red thread in there because I'm gonna need that to make the uh, upgrade anyway. So I don't need to carry it on me. I'm gonna be here when I do that upgrade. Mm, I think that might be it. I like organizing my inventory. Ah, that feels good. I should probably drink some Twyrine. Actually, Ooh, that this is a good time man, to use Dragonfly Eye. Incredibly rare concoction. It reveals several points of interest in the town. Let's do it. Well, mixtures. Two points of interest. Okay. I wonder what's going on over there. And then one right at Lara's place. Oh man, that stuff is strong. It's messing with my vision. <laughs> hmm. I'm wondering if I should like go up here. It's really out of the way. There's not even a boat up there. <sighs> Probably not. Yeah. Let's go to Vlad. See what they want to talk about. I also want to stop at a clothes store to see if they sell that cloth thing that I need to upgrade my stuff. The clothing store over here. There's not really any other ones along the way. Hmm. 
You know what's kind of tricky too is I want to take all the herbs with me and like sell them for the... I sell them at the Broken Heart because remember each day one herb is worth double. It is just right across from my home like it wouldn't be that big of a deal. The stuff in my inventory you go sell them there and then come back. Eh, I'll do that some other time. I mean I'm sure later in the day I'll probably have more herbs. Yeah, okay. Let's go to Vlad. And get food along the way, because I'm about to start taking damage. Hmm. Well, I'll see if I can find food from trading with people along the way. I think my vision's still messed up. Do I want to go to the shady shop? Like, is it more expensive than a normal shop? I don't know. Let's see. I mean, prices fluctuate so much between people and with time, so I'm not even going to be able to know if it's overly expensive here, really. <sighs> what do we got? <coughs> Excuse me. 500 for a smoked fish. I know smoked meat restores a lot. I think significantly more than smoked fish. Oh my god, they have fresh meat. Every path in the world leads to meat. <laughs> Nothing is more filling. Not drinking milk. It's warm? Ugh. Is fresh meat worth it? It's really expensive, but like, if I just eat this one thing, is that gonna satiate my hunger for the whole day? It's almost max, so it's not like I can really waste it. Yeah, squishy. Let's go with it. Is there anything I want to sell? I mean, revolver ammo? I have no reason to keep that, really. I don't plan on using a gun anytime soon. Oh, that's interesting. The tinctures are basically, basically worth jack shit. Because they probably just because they don't know what to do with them. Right? It has no value to them because they can't use them in any useful way. They don't know how to. Not that they're actually useless, but to them, they're useless. Alright. Let's see what that does to my hunger. That's pretty beautiful. I was hoping it'd go down to basically zero, but that's pretty damn good. I need some water. I have no bottles, so I gotta drink it straight from the source. While I'm here, I guess it's worth popping in. To Grief's place real quick and just seeing if there's anything to talk with them about. Cannot speak with them. Could trade, of course. Don't suppose you have a cloth thing? You don't. Goodbye. Could also pop into the kid's place. But yeah, let's just go. If there's no mark on the map, there's most likely nothing to talk with them about. I'd 
love to trade for that egg. Hmm. <coughs> It'd be very inconvenient to trade for it. It costs five and I have two things worth four. Pemmican? One bandage for pemmican? Yes. I'm actually... Mm, I, I'm not exactly sure how much the pemmican's going to restore. I might waste it by eating it now, so I won't. Candles worth four, morphine for ten. Mm. Nah. There's a bunch of people standing outside of Big Vlad's place. I don't know what that's about. A worker. Oh, right. They, because they've shut down the factory, right? So nobody's able to work or anything. Which department are you from, pal? Cutting? I think I'm just going to dodge the question. Trying to reach Big Vlad? That fat pig refuses to come out. Refuses even an explanation. Bloodsucker. What happened? The factory shut down two days ago, didn't you know? I mean, yeah, there is this soot problem. But when will it run again? How many of us will find themselves on the streets? Will anyone pay us for the downtime? Or will the payment be reduced? I can tell you right now, it's the latter. And that won't feed my children. Kitty cat. Yeah. We want at least to be told what's going on. Why is the train not coming? Why did he cork up the termitary? I'll tell you why. They want it all shut down. They're just looking for an excuse to close the factory. There was no accident, and the toxic soot is a lie, a cover, a crock of shit. There have been, indeed, many suspicious coincidences. Are you going to see the man yourself? Tell him we ain't leaving without an answer. More people will come. We'll stay here for as long as we have to. Let the hateful pig tell us the truth. Alright, I'll tell him. Good thing you've come to visit, Master Barak. Right on time. Early bird gets the worm, indeed. The Canes plan to take away your house. Isidore is dead, God rest his soul, and his heir is on the run. The decision will be made today. Did you see what's happening on your porch? I don't have to look to know, my boy. I can work out the details just fine. The noise is hard to ignore, too. I'm not deaf. All of this does not concern you. Yeah, well, too bad. I'm going to pry. Why did you shut down the factory? Do you have any idea how much I lose after every single day of downtime? If I've stopped the factory, that means I've had very good reasons for doing so. Mind your test tubes and surgical instruments, Master Brock, and keep your nose out of my affairs. I handle my business just as well as you handle yours. You mind that. So why do the Canes want my family home? As you should know, the town is ruled by three families. I hold the economy. The abattoir, the factory, the station, the warehouses. Known collectively as the Bull Enterprise. A silly name, but it's stuck. Sabrov upholds the peace. He handles the populace. And the Canes... The Canes build. Houses, other structures, general planning. All on them. I know this. The Canes see all houses, including yours, as cogs in a machine. They 
might decide to demolish it or do something else entirely. The late Simon Kane was close to your father. One could say they were friends. Opposites truly do attract. Yes, they do. I mean... I was thinking, do I actually care if they take Isidore's home? Our family's home? I guess, from a practical standpoint, kind of no, because... Who the hell would want to live where their father was murdered and also we saw a miasmatic cloud of plague? <coughs> but just kind of from a, like, principal standpoint, you know, that is, that's our property. That's the family home. I'm not going to let them take it. If for no other reason, then it's mine, not yours, asshole. So what do I do? Go see the judge, that is, Georgie Kane. With his brother Simon dead, he's in charge. Go to him and assert your claim. Hurry, Georgie wakes at dawn and never takes back decisions. That's just how he is. Oh, I can even say I don't want that house too many heavy feelings. Yeah, that's kind of like what I was feeling, but... No. I don't like you, Vlad, but thank you, Boos. What do we got now? Yeah, we're still in Act 2. Act 2 is getting quite large. There's a lot here. <laughs> 